The Garden Report is brought to you by Price Picks and the Game Time app. Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to the Garden Report from Washington, D.C. Celtics still undefeated, 122-102. Two straight blowouts to begin the 2024-25 season. And they did this one down to rotation players. Chris Stas Porzingis, of course, who was here waving to fans, drawing cheers from both Washington and Boston fans. Obviously beloved down here for the couple of solid seasons he logged with the Wizards. Uh, but Sam Hauser, surprise, scratch from this game uh, a couple hours before it got started. He woke up with a sore back, didn't feel it on opening night. Uh, doesn't know how long he's going to miss here, but something he said he's dealt with on and off going back to the summer. So something to take note of uh, for an important rotation player to this team. Gave about 20 minutes on opening night, good minutes, going back to the preseason. And of course, a major contributor in the playoffs. So where do you go? I'm thinking Jordan Walsh. I'm thinking a nice preseason he had would lead into some minutes here against you know what's probably going to be the worst one of the worst teams in the league. Uh, but no, they go Nemesh Kada uh, in a second quarter rotation where he entered uh, alongside Xavier Tillman and Al Horford in rotation. Got to play with both of those guys in this one and played great among all the big men. Most points here, 12. Uh, grabbed seven rebounds, including four on the offensive glass, put a couple shots back in uh, on the boards and uh, fouled four times, but the late one was a weird call where he's stealing Corey Kispert, didn't love that one, uh, and managed to stay in the game for the most part defensively. I liked when he flashed under the rim at one point as a roamer, uh, forced Spalak Koulibaly to throw it away to Jalen Brown during the sequence in this game where the Celtics really started to pull away. They led by as many as 32 in this one. Uh, but an early prominent role for Nemesh Keita, who Joe Mazzulla uh, pulled aside among the players who probably weren't going to play on opening night in that final practice before the season got started, uh, but reminded them that they won about three games last winter due in part to Cater's contributions and longer extended minutes. While playing on a two-way deal with a couple uh, Celtics big men out, I think at that time Porzingis and Cornett uh, weren't available to Boston. It was before uh, the team traded for Xavier Tillman in February. So a strong belief in him. Uh, they like where he's at. Defensively, I still think some room for improvement, especially with that fouling. Uh, but Derek White sees a much more confident, and sure of himself player into year two here with Boston. Here's what White had to say about Kata's performance tonight. Athletic. Um, seems to get every offensive rebound. Um, just a big body around the rim. You know, I just think he's just a little bit more comfortable, a little more sure of himself, know where to, to be at in the offense. Um, I think maybe last year he was kind of maybe thinking too much, but this year he's just playing, doing what he do, and um, it's been really good for us in training camp and tonight. So I'm not going to argue with it. I, I would have liked to have seen Walsh here. I want to see what they look like with him in the mix, playing alongside some of their players, especially before he goes to Maine, which could be next week here. Uh, but can't argue with the results. And as Missoula said after the game, Wizards' speed did bother them a little bit early, shot-making. And uh, the shot totals, Wizards did actually take more shots in this game, so that's an area where they were able to keep this close with Boston for about a quarter and a half. Once the Celtics went bigger, Missoula said he saw them taking away the rim, uh, you know, playing with more physicality, and on the offensive end, actually spacing well. Xavier Tillman hit a couple threes in this game. So there's a real flexibility at that center position that they love. Most of those lineups, the double big combination, save for two. I think Kata Horford is a negative, and I think Cornette Tillman is a negative, I want to say, to start this year. Uh, but otherwise, some major positives for those double big units. It was a big part of what they did last year. Kate, of course, as I said earlier, helped them win some games a year ago. So if he keeps ascending, he keeps earning minutes, I'm not opposed to him getting more and more involved. He even tried to pull up a three later in this game, which we've seen him working on behind the scenes and said he was willing to do if he found an open look. Went in and out. Yeah, so it could have went down for him in that spot, and he would have had a three in this game uh, to go with 15 points. So strong results. I feel like reps, as I said in the case of Walsh, the only way you can see what you have and see improvement from a guy like that is to keep putting him out there. Kata, if that's what they want to do, if that's the guy that they're investing in the most here and see the most long-term potential along with short-term impact, 
I can live with that despite me being a Luke guy and despite uh, me wanting to see a little bit more Walsh. Uh, I'm a big Kata fan as well and like the potential he's flashing offensively. Certainly, high post creation, offensive physical rebounding, scoring, and defensively in that Roma position, I do think that's a spot where they can fit him in to what they're doing, especially playing alongside another big. Now, who is that consistently? That's something they're still going to have to figure out early this season. In terms of Hauser's outlook, uh, Joe did say game to game those rotations could change. So maybe an indication that there could be a little more, more time needed for Hauser here as he uh, tries to recover from that sore back. Uh, and so it's something to watch the rest of the way here with him and the, the way they utilize their depth here in this win is something to watch uh, as they try to navigate rest and injuries, whatever might come up this regular season. They are, with Porzingis out, one injury away from tapping into some of their deeper bench guys. And tonight it was Keita in a convincing win over the Wizards. Wizards gave them a good shot early. Celtics pulled away in this one. And that's it for us here in Washington, D.C. I'm Bobby Manning. We brought to you by Prize Picks. Go over there and use the code CLNS to get a $50 bonus uh, when you play a $5 lineup this weekend. Uh, Thursday night already over. Plenty of football games to come this weekend. And game time. Easy to get in this house tonight. You could have came for pennies I'd imagine over on game time with how many empty seats there were here tonight a ton of Celtics fans in attendance and you can get $20 off over at game time using the code CLNS check them out in Detroit they're back in Boston on Monday a little tougher at TD Garden but game time's got you covered and again those prices go way down around game time I can't even imagine how low they got uh, at game time for this one so CLNS $20 off your first purchase over there terms apply uh, and that's it for us uh, this has been the Garn Report. Celtics win 122-102 here against the Wizards. Then off to Detroit, uh, which will have post-game coverage of remote uh, for Celtics Pistons on Saturday night. And then we'll see you back in Boston for a big game against the Bucks on Monday. Talk to you then. Hey, Bobby Manning here. If you made it this far, you probably enjoyed this video. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out our social media platforms at Celtics CLNS.